Here we go. You, you hear me now? <laughs> you hear me now? This is my first time using this uh, new technology. Bear with me, please. There I go. Yeah. Pardon self. Prop education, the law corrects errors. Y'all couldn't hear me. What up, Mr. B Tense? Yes. I remember that movie theater uptown. London in the house. Peace to the God L7 Allah. B Brown, thank you for telling me my mic wasn't on and everybody else that told me my mic wasn't on. But we in this bitch now. Where's Digger? Digger will be back. I'm waiting on uh, Godfrey to join me. We got Indianapolis in the house. Chicago in the house. Thank you. I appreciate you all as well. Glad you said Lord Jamar is gossiping. Really? That what he said? Oh, maybe he's trying to get ahead of <laughs> my announcement. Um, so we're simulcasting right now. Not only are we on YouTube Live, but we on Facebook. We on Periscope, which is Twitter. Yeah. We in this motherfucker right now. You heard. Welcome back to the Not A Mean God cast. Let me, uh, let me do my shit. Oh, shit. We got things going on. We got things to talk about today. You can follow me on IG and Twitter at Lord Jamar. We're about to build this bitch up, y'all. If you'd uh, like to become a patron of the show, shit, go to patreon.com. Get down with the get down. Yeah, that, that Godfrey Denzel deep fake video was crazy, right? That joint was bananas. That's right. Everybody hit that like button. Um, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Okay, we about to take this uh, channel. We about to push past that 100,000 mark. It was my born day this weekend, so this is still my born day weekend. Yes, happy born day to me. It's still Virgo season, y'all. All my Virgos in the house, happy born day. Happy born month. Yes, I know. I know. Let's see, you only only kept watching this shit. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? <laughs> Got an announcement to make. Oh, D. Will, thank you. Said he bought a, a brand new Ben hat and hoodie last night. Thank you, brother. Shout out to D. Will. When's Sagittarius season? I don't know. I know uh, Libra season coming up next, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Trying to wait for my brother Godfrey. Oh, your, birth, your born day was the 17th, JG. So was mine. The Knowledge God Day. Okay, all being born to build, destroy. That's what I do. 
bring the knowledge of God. And it adds me, it allows me to add on to the positive and destroy the negative. Oh, oh there's the man. Hang on. There's the man, the myth, the legend. We're about to bring him in now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, son. Now, son, son, this is our first time doing a simulcast, right? So we are simul. Oh, okay. I was we like, are on, we are on YouTube. We are on um Facebook and Twitter. Damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Technology. Wow. You see, we got a little uh banners and shit at the bottom ticker tape parading and shit like that. You know what I mean? Wow. Y'all follow uh, Godfrey on his IG, right? At Comedian Godfrey on Comedian IG. Comedian Godfrey on the IG and my podcast and Godfrey We Trust That's on right. the Gas Digital Network. That's and right. you can see our you can see our <laughs> our Vlad interviews. <laughs> well, we're about to talk about that. We have about three you have maybe four or five years of Vlad interviews. I got like three, maybe two and a half. Three. More than that. Yeah, longer than that, right? I said I might have more than that. But yeah, the name of your show again, In God Free We Trust. We trust on Gas Digital Network. Subscribe on on uh, with promo code Godfrey on Gas Digital. Also subscribe on YouTube. You go through Godfrey Comedy or just look up in Godfrey We Trust on YouTube. And then subscribe. There's episodes on YouTube too. So, right. Word. All right. Well, listen. Uh, before we get started, um, you know, we live in crazy times right now. You need healthcare out there, and hey, you don't really want to go into to to the doctor with a bunch of sick people, be around a bunch of sick people coughing and sneezing and bleeding on you. You know what I mean? So the way to go right now is telemedicine. Um, we got a telemedicine plan that if you uh, join, it's only $35 a month if you use my promo code. And it covers up to 10 people in your home. It's not insurance. It is uh, basically an alternative to health insurance. And it's something that is affordable to most people. So that's why I'm bringing it to you. So there's the uh, link right there. Go to lawjamar.healthalliancenetwork.com. Put in your discount code. Lord Jamar, and you will receive your health insurance, which covers up to 10 people uh, in your household for only $35 a month. You get blood work, you get, uh, you know, all kinds of test results. They even got COVID testing, all that type of stuff. So go check it out. All right. Godfrey. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. It's uh, Sunday afternoon. It's a rest day. It's a get my life together day today. Right. Get this shit together today. It's a nice day out, sunny out. Mm. It's a good, you know, day for construction, constructive <laughs> movement. Right. So uh, this was my birthday weekend, as I was saying earlier. Um, Happy birthday. <laughs> Shout out to all the people in the comments. Can you, you can see the comments and all that, right? Yes. I can. Uh oh, oh, from the bottom to donate. I know I don't see no, no, I don't know. You should be able to see the comments from the side. I'm not I don't see any comments. I don't see them. Okay. Or can I press chat or something? Uh yeah. I don't know. Does it say that on there? Does it say something where it says chat? chat. Uh comments. Comments. Oh, oh, oh wow. You see that? I see. Chats now, but I don't see your ba oh. okay. Wow, oh wow, yeah. those are people talking to us. Yo, Godfrey, okay, there we go. A matter of fact, people was talking about your deep fake earlier. Whoa, what happened to you? I lost your camera. I think you hit a button. Godfrey will be right back. What I did, but I'm not yeah. messing with that. You hit the button. Well, I was just trying to show you that you could see the comments if you press. Well, that. Yeah, you can read them if you can see them. You can read them. I just okay. well, they're like, "What up, Godfrey? What up? Right. What up? What up, Brady? What up?" Listen, let's Where get let's get yeah. to the meat and potatoes, man. So, I think we started a a a, a series of events, um, not long ago, 
mm-hmm. where we did a show where we were talking about this whole brouhaha, this whole fuck shit <laughs> with uh, Vlad not apologizing to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for misquoting him and mischaracterizing his statement while in a uh, in an interview with D.L. Hughley. Now, during one of our shows, you, Godfrey, stated that uh, Vlad said, well, he'll apologize if he can have a meeting with Farrakhan. Well, right. this is, yeah, and I, and, and here's, here's what's and fucked up. A lot of shit hit the fan. Yeah, because I was thinking because of my knowledge of the minister from me being in, growing up in Chicago, when I started in college, and this is when I was listening to you guys, brand newbie, and listening to public, all that stuff when I was getting to that consciousness, that black power shit. I would go see, go to the mosque to watch him speak, to watch Wally Muhammad. I would go, you know, because I want to go see what was up. So I would see him live. So I was watching the minister for a long ass time. You understand? A lot of people just started listening to him. A lot of people that come on these things, talk that shit and just start listening to him. You know, I used to play, I used to play his tapes in my college dorm. I said tapes now. I said cassettes. Right. That's what I used to do. You know what I mean? So knowing what I know about the minister, he would always say, if anybody wants to talk to me, you can we can sit down and I will meet with you. Let's sit down and have a real dialogue. That is why I brought that up. Not I wasn't bringing up, hey, he wants to sit with a minister so he can get some get numbers on his. I, I fuck. That was not my fucking purpose. And another thing is, he said, I don't need I don't need him to be on Vlad to interview. I would I'll talk to him on the phone one on one. What that's what he told me. Right, now that's something that wasn't clarified. And it all clarified because in, first of all, in the spirit of fairness, I'm just gonna say that I think a lot of people jump to the conclusion that um B Lad was um was trying to get an interview and trying to monetize the situation wow. where I don't think it was clear that um, he actually didn't say that. Like he, he said it could just be something on the phone or whatever the case, or they can shoot it and put it on there, whatever the case, however they want to do it. Like, but he didn't necessarily want to monetize it in that kind of sense. And I think a lot of people assumed that. Can you, but, can you hear me? Yes. I hear okay, you. now I gotta. I'm gonna have to do something real quick because when I get a phone call, it ruins my. It ruins the volume on here. Hold on, sorry. Okay. God damn it. Hold on. I'm gonna leave and come back. I'm sorry. Okay, that's all right. Shit. shit, shit. So anyway, um, yeah, that's 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 the part that you know. Whatever, I don't think that part was clear, but that's neither here nor there. Because at the end of the day, uh, 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 okay, at the end of the day, like you, was, okay, go ahead. Sorry, you know, I was gonna say so. Um, so that's neither here nor there. Whether whether uh, he wanted to monetize it or not, da 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 da. But to be clear, in the spirit of clarity, um. That's not necessarily was the was the was the See, goal. listen, well, first of all, really what he said. When I talked to you, we I was in Minneapolis. I was in Minneapolis waiting on the shuttle. I was outside, so and it was it was about to rain. So I'm just talking, like I'm trying to get in my points. Right. And they misconstrued that as in, oh, you sit up there, you sit up there trying to protect Vlad. And nobody trying to pro- fucking protect Vlad. I was saying this because I know of the minister's nature where he meets people. He like talks to them. Let's talk one-on-one. 
But then when I look back in hindsight and I'm looking and people are going, yo, man, the man, you helping them clout chase. Then I said, oh, you misconstrued what the fuck I said. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and, you well, know, people are going to hold on and give a reason to fucking shit on you. Like, oh, no, fuck that. Oh, wait a minute. All the shit that I've done on that channel, as far as you've been doing it before me, but as much as I have done on that channel, pushing the culture, um, protecting the culture, praising black women, all the shit I've done unapologetically. And right. So you're going to take that piece of information and shit on everything else that I did. And that, so I'm saying, are you really a supporter of me or are you just waiting for me to slip so you can open your fucking mouth? Mm. That's all I'm saying. But I, but what I do love is that I do love that black folks are angry. And I like that we have that we're protecting our people. I do love that. I like that motherfuckers are sensitive about that, which is fine. But we need to be sensitive about everything when we get disrespected in any way. If a black woman gets disrespected in public, if anybody gets disrespected, we need to be just as 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 angry about everything. Not just not just this shit. But everything, you know what I mean, across the board, when we're being disrespected on any level. So now, subsequently, after that show, mm -hmm. um, people like West Coast Cam, shout out to West Coast Cam. People, Cam, Cam. People like Royce the Five Nine, shout out to Royce the Five Nine. Royce the Five Nine, yes. Actually saw our video and were flabbergasted. Like, what the fuck? How dare he try to sit down with the minister? Who the fuck does he think he is? And rightly so. I mean, a lot of people, that's that's a that's a that's a great way to feel. Like, yeah, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, why do you think you're that important? Why has your ego inflated you to the point where you feel like you're you're important enough to meet mm -hmm. with you know one of the biggest black leaders of our time. So, um, you know, they both made videos where they were very critical of you and I, where um, I yeah. think people, people felt like we were keeping for Vlad. And- um, Oh, oh wait, buck dancing and cooning. Uh, yeah, we, we were buck dancing. Now we're in the same category as Terry Crews now, all of a sudden. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, anyway, um, I think people felt like we weren't going hard enough on him. Um, now, for one, I, I've said this before, and, uh, and I'll say it again, you know, we can't always expect someone to have the same emotion that we're going to have for everything. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're in the nation of Islam, I get it. Like, yeah. like Farrakhan yeah. is your leader, like, you know what I mean? You're supposed to protect him at all means. Now, Farrakhan is a leader of black people in general. Right. And, and, and in that way, I do look up to Farrakhan. You know what I mean? Right. I, I love for Farrakhan. I didn't only just listen to his tapes. I was there for many of his great, if, if he came to New York, I was there. And I'm talking from a, a, right. a youth. Like, 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 I was there when he went um, and spoke out at, like, what was it, this college out in Long Island? But, but mm -hmm. Jesse Jackson, when Jesse Jackson was running for president. Right. Oh, okay. damn, it was 84, 85. Oh, Jesus. exactly. And I was a young, young, I was young at that time, but the God Barkim um, brought me out to the, to the, to the mosque in, in uh, yeah. Brooklyn on Utica Avenue, and then we took a bus out to Long Island. Yeah, Farrakhan was speaking in support of, um, of Jesse Jackson. I, I was there at Madison Square Garden, okay, yeah. by myself when he right. did the famous thing. To all my brothers, you know, sister from the Five Percent Nation, and all oh, we just went crazy up in there. Um, so I've definitely been a longtime supporter of the ministry. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and it's it, they're coming at you like. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, no, 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 no. listen, like, I'm just saying that I like I said before, I'm appreciative of the anger. At least people are are up on it. We're not just because, you know, like black people, we get disrespected day in, day out. 
day in. We forgive everybody. We forgive this. We forgive that. I think that I hope that I said that this anger stays with everything of, well, as, as far as disrespect of black folk. So, 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 so Royce especially yeah. had a very lengthy. I didn't see it. I watched it. It was, it was, I guess about 45 minutes. Uh -huh. And, you know, he had a lot of good points in there that I actually agreed with. Okay. Um, you know, speaking on knowing your worth mm -hmm. and just about solidarity. You right. know what I mean? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Um, and so, I mean, he's absolutely right about all of that. So I, I want to really talk about being on code, okay? Being on code. And today, you know, you and I are here to show an example of being on code with your people. Okay? Now, many of y'all think, oh, this motherfucker Vlad is, was putting money in y'all pockets and all. No, he wasn't. No, he what? wasn't. Yeah, like this motherfucker, you know what I mean? I wasn't getting paid from this motherfucker. Okay, let me tell you why these my real reasoning of being on there was to to have a viewpoint like mine be proliferated to the masses right now when it's needed. Right. And that's what was more valuable to me than anything. Fuck right. the money and all this type of shit. I'm trying to touch people. So again, right. this you can have that same um you can have the same mentality of selling records out your trunk, or you could sign with a major label. You know what I mean? And it's and, pro, pros and, and cons to both. And don't oh, most most record uh, most artists they're they're signed under white labels, right? Oh, absolutely. Right. I'm just saying, like, let's we're all under a regime of so-called white folks running shit. So when people tell us, "Oh man." Look what you doing on Vlad, you coon. First of all, we ain't buck dancing, we ain't coons. So you need to you need to look at the shit we did in the past. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking nullify the shit we've done in the past. And another thing is, all the people that are talking shit, the way they were talking, the, just the way they were coming at us, I thought it was unfair. That you can be mad, but don't be saying we cooning and buck dancing. I, you know, it's like the one guy that was talking shit to me not too long ago that was looking for you, and I said, my man, since we coon dancing. Why don't you quit your job where you punch in and, and work for the white man? And why don't you quit your job since you're talking that shit? I said, me and Jamar have worked for ourselves for a, for a long time. Nobody, we don't work for anybody. Thank you. We are, we are independent contractors, man. What'd you say? No, I said, thank you, Timmy Cattell. It was a, a donation. Okay, we're independent contractors. Right. I have people, um, white people work for me. I don't, I'm not told what to do ever. You know, right. all I do is when I get a job, I contract myself, I do my job, and I get the fuck out. But half you motherfuckers that are shitting on us work for somebody white. You work for somebody white. You smile and you say niceties and you, <laughs> I'll see you later, Bob. <laughs> but I'm just being honest. Well, listen. So after watching that and all of that, and I said, you know what? I'm actually in agreement with everything that was said, basically. No doubt. No um, doubt. Yeah. So, and, and again, we told this motherfucker to apologize. We you told him. I mean? We told him. Um, I'm, I'm the one that got him to do what the fuck he did, basically, with the editing and all of that type of shit. Yeah. But, yeah. You know what I mean? People wanted yeah. to go further. I told him, yo, let's take it further. So now, basically, yesterday, Godfrey and I had just a discussion with this man. And it was like, yo, bro, either you're going to apologize to the minister or we not fucking with you no more. Period. Like, like we got to stand in solidarity with our people. You know what I mean? We got to be on code the same way you was on code, Vlad. Because you claim to be a, a, a Russian Jew, but you claim to be an atheist like you're not a practicing Jew. You claim that you're not a practicing Jew, but as soon as something is said about the J Mafia, you fucking got a problem. You fucking, um, you know, 
you, you, you're offended by the shit. Talking about hate speech and all of this type of shit. And, and, and it's like, yo, fuck out of here with all of that shit. So, so you're going to automatically be on code with your people, even though you don't even really practice that. So guess what? We're going to be on code with our people. So today, so, so, so what did he say? He said he's sticking to his guns. He's not apologizing. All right. Well, you've now lost two of your biggest um, draws to your channel. Now, right now, he's saying, oh, I had the biggest month ever, you know, without certain people on the channel. And I was one of them. I wasn't on the channel this past month. But he's saying he had his biggest month. All right. Cool. Well, we'll see now, okay? Because I know for a fact, I personally brought mad motherfuckers on there that yeah. wouldn't have interviewed with him until they seen me on. Like, oh, shit. And, 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 and was intrigued by what I was saying and all this type of shit. There's plenty of people on this motherfucker right now who is like, yo, I hated the Vlad channel. I only watched the shit because you was on there, motherfucker. Or people yeah. like Godfrey was on the motherfucker. You know what I mean? So now, since he don't want to respect the culture like we need him to respect, now operation, you're corny as a motherfucker if you go up to Vlad, is in effect. Point, point blank. Like, and don't think that I don't have that type of power, because I do. Okay? I'm the one who single-handedly stopped motherfuckers from wearing skirts in hip-hop. Hang on. Let, let me give myself a, a round of applause for that. You, you single-handedly? Right on. I Did single you just give yourself an applause? I, oh, oh, you heard it? Let's, let me tell, I'm going to give myself another one. I single-handedly stopped motherfuckers from, um, you know, fucking with skirts and shit like that. I made them look stupid. You know what I mean? Kind yeah. and all these type of motherfuckers. Made it look corny. So guess what? Anybody that goes up there now that's not on code after the after the main two of the main motherfuckers yeah. that was on that channel said we ain't fucking with this no more. If y'all continue to go up there, you're corny. You're corny, and we not fucking with you. Because right now, it's all about us as black people staying on code. Because everybody else stays on code. Asian. I want to let, I want to let everybody stay on code with Asian people. I want to let, let everybody know, too, people. like, if it, even if Vlad... This, if Vlad said something about someone else that was black and prominent, it could have been um, Maxine Waters. It could have been anybody else, not just the minister. I would have felt the same way. So I don't want anybody to think it's just that one person. If it's anybody black that you, you know what I mean? That you, that you, that if, he, if we felt you disrespected, I would be feel the same exact way. Thank you, Noah Six. You know what I'm saying? I would feel the same exact way. So... You know, because white folks are going to always stand in solidarity. They're always going to keep right. their whiteness in, in, in intact. And the problem with us is we don't always do that. And we need to le start learning to do that and stop being so so caught up in thinking, oh, man, I'm going to lose something if I don't. No, we got to stick with our we got to stick with our guns. And it's not about being against anybody. It's about protecting our culture like every other community does. They Listen, all stand with themselves. Noah Six uh, just gave us a super chat. He said, although I liked Vlad, he was out of pocket. And I'm glad Lord Jamar and Godfrey stood in complete solidarity with the people, for the people, by the people. Thank you, Noah Six. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. Also, Timmy Cattell, she said, Jamar and Godfrey, enough respect, my guys. I think you guys are. He said, I don't think you guys are caping. That being said, Vlad is very disrespectful. Respectful at times regarding black people. Apology on and offline is needed. Anyway, been a fan, still a fan, my guys. Thank you. Right. Yo, yo, you got to hold on for a second. I got to Okay. Um, 
So yeah. And and I can't wait to 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 um Godfrey get back because something was real telling. You know, when this whole um when this live started, before I even um Announce this. Hang on, Garvey's coming. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. I got my airplane mode. So the phone calls keep fucking up. Can you turn your shit sideways? Maybe is like, is it straight or can you put it? There we go. There we go. Now well, it's falling out of control. Yeah. All right. So thank you, Jeremy R. Appreciate you. Yo, uh, you. big shock to God. Um. Yes. So um. So yes, Vlad out of pocket, staying on code. Um, and, oh, and oh, 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 let me tell you something, Vlad. I mean, pardon me, <laughs> I called you. <laughs> let me tell you Godfrey. Um, so let me tell you something that's real telling. Now, now, when we had that conversation with him, we came to him like men. We told him we was going to do this very thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so not to be on no sucker shit or whatever. Like we're going to let a motherfucker know. Right. And he said, oh, listen, and I ain't going to have no problems with it. It's cool. Y'all say what you got to say. I ain't going to say nothing about you. OK, when I started this fucking live before I said anything about anything, there's nothing in the description that says, yo, uh, uh, Godfrey and jo it just says God, Lord Jamal and Godfrey have an announcement. That's all it says in there. Right. So, yeah. boom. At the beginning of this fucking shit, someone says, yo, Vlad said Lord Jamar is gossiping. What? Yeah. When? He must have said this today, maybe online somewhere. What? Or, or, or see, maybe he anticipated. He what? knew he was going to say something, so maybe try to get it ahead of it somehow. And yeah, there's a... There's a there's a there's a there's a, a message here, and somebody said, "Get the fuck out of here!" Come on. It said, "Vlad said Lord Jamar is gossiping," and I'm like, "Wow." Wait, about know? what? I, I'm confused. I'm confused. What's this? What? what? I'm, I'm confused. I don't know. Like, you know we what I mean? Like, we had a legitimate talk with him, man to man, honest, open conversation for about forty five minutes yesterday. What the fuck is going on? What's going on? He's got what? What does that mean? Oh, this is it, man. Well, come on, man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> all I can say is, now is the time for us as a people to show and prove our power. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, cause this man really thinks he's gonna be good regardless. You know what I mean? So, like, so. Would you say out of his 4.3 whatever million subscribers, what is the percentage of them being black subscribers? I'd say quite a quite a quite a bit. Like what would you say percentage wise? What would you guess? I'd say at least at least 50%. Oh, you think the rest is like white and everybody else? Yeah. Because there's a lot of white fucking hip hop fans out there, you know. Yeah. I mean? yeah. And then there's just warriors of black culture, but yeah. I'd say at least fifty percent of that is probably black people, and we can easily take that fifty percent and bring it right over here to us. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like I'm dead ass serious. Like 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 you're corny if you're going against your people. Point blank. Like, first of all, we hadn't done any interviews since all of that popped off. I think maybe one of your interviews came out after My, the fact. Like, you had yeah, already yeah. done it. It was already in the can, but then the shit with Vlad came out. Yeah. With, Here's a, your shit came out. So it's so people might have thought you went there after. And I did. Here's what you Thank right. you for bringing that up because right. chronologically, I had already, you know, you know, and, and Vlad spaces out his interviews we don't just run up there and do the fucking interview so i had already done some shit weeks before that and then that came out they like what you gonna do i go i just did an interview what what happened 
And and they thought I could just run up and do another interview with this motherfucker. I said, I can't do that. That's not how he works. You know, that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? And so even when we do interviews, they go, when's your next one? I go, I just did that one. I have to wait like a month or two before we do another one. It's all on his his schedule and what he's he we're not the only one he interviews. So that's another thing was the timing. They thought I wasn't answering him during that shit. But we were talking on the phone. I was like, yo, man, what's this shit that you said? You gotta what did you say? You know, we were talking already. You know, it's like originally I was trying to do the knowledge of the situation. Like I don't I didn't want to jump out the window. Right. Um and just you know what I mean? Just blame him on the kid or whatever. Because, yeah, we do know the motherfucker. Like, See, I, you know what I, mean? like, listen, like I hang out with Vlad. And, and I, I hang I, out with I, him. I've hung out with him, too. You yeah. know what I mean? But at the I end did. of the day, at the end of the day, you know right. what I mean? Are we really friends like that? Because I feel right. like a, a, right. a real friend wants for, you, wants for you what he wants for himself. That's right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this motherfucker Vlad is always quick to brag about the shit that he got and the people that he know and all this type of shit. But is he really trying to put anybody that you know into that type of power situation? Mm -hmm. Like, does he really want to see you or I become a millionaire and 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 him making moves to try to put us in those situations? Yeah. yeah. Like, like if, if we're gonna be totally honest, Vlad TV was built. The same way America was built on the free labor of black people. Yep. Hang on, let me get. <laughs> black TV was built the same way America was built on the free labor right. of black people. See, the only thing is, you know, the labor I gave was a labor of love for my own people. That's you know saying I knew that I was on a platform that if I say the same thing here and say yeah. the same thing there, I'm going to yeah. touch a lot more people there than I would right here. But that's just at the moment. See, and now everybody's about to leave there and come over here. So, you know, but you nailed it because all my, all my black people is going to do that. When I, when I watched Vlad before I was on it, I watched you guys. I watched Red Man, Boozy. I watched a lot of people on there. I was like, man, this is a really good show. And then I don't know who the dude is, but I thought the dude was black because I know a black guy that sounds like Vlad. I know one of my friends. And I said, man, I thought it was a black guy interviewing like all these black artists. I was like, this is great. And some mafia dudes and blah, blah, blah. I said, this is a dope ass show. And so when I was at Sirius XM, and by the way, everybody, I got fired from Sirius XM because of the way I talk. I said, I would love to get on Vlad because Vlad is a show where every, you get to speak your mind. You get to talk that shit. And I said, that's what I need. Okay. So then I said, this guy got what? At the time, he had about three something point eight mil. I was like, God damn. And so I put in my bid to do Vlad. And Vlad was a fan of mine. And I said, oh, shit. And he said, man, I'd love you to come on. I said, Vlad. Okay. For a minute, and, Godfrey. I'll be right back. Talk to the people. Oh, okay. Should I keep to Okay. Are we still talking? Oh, we still. You're still. Uh, you're still talking to the people. Oh, okay. <laughs> just keep talking. I'll be back. But just give me oh, a minute. I'll keep talking. All right, all right. So I want y'all folks to know that the reason why I got on Vlad was because mm -hmm. I said, "Man, look at all these black people I could reach. I could reach all these black people on Vlad." And I don't. I can't really see the comments, but you all can't act like you could not wait to watch a Vlad interview. And I did not know he was black, uh, white. I had no idea. You know, so I got on there. And once I started getting on there, I started getting mad love in the streets. Everybody was like, man, I love you on Vlad, dog. I love you on Vlad, man. I was like, it's working. Because you all have to understand, too. You guys don't see me on sitcoms. You don't see me in a lot of movies and shit like that. And a lot of, a lot of stuff that I do and my honesty and my protection of the culture is a lot of the reasons why I get a lot of fucking hate. You know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dress up in a dress. I ain't kissing no dude. Not on some homophobic shit. I just don't do that kind of shit because I'm trying to preserve black manhood. Black manhood is very important to me. My father was that. My uncles were that. My grandparents. I am not going to 
to compromise black manhood because they're trying to fucking shut that down, you know? And I'm not taking anything from the gay community at all. I know brothers and sisters that are gay that are my friends, but that's cool. But they are literally purposely trying to shut down heterosexual black manhood, which is fucked up. And I'm the guy that is going to preserve that. And a lot of times I've been shunned out of shit because of that. Not, not too much. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, guys, I'm still an entertainer. I'm still in this business. I still got to put food on my table. You know what I mean? I got to pay rent just like all of you do. And a lot of you, and I don't know you all, I don't even, I can't see no comments. So a lot of you all work for a white person. You work under a white system. You have to navigate yourself. Some of you wear suits and shit like that. And you got to smile. Ha ha ha, Jim. Hi. I'll see you later. Ha 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 ha. We all have to code switch. So a lot of times when people watch me on my shit and tell me what I need to do, it's kind of unfair because I wouldn't tell you to quit your job. You know what I mean? I wouldn't tell you. But but like I said, I stand by what I say. If a person is being disrespectful to people who I who I adore, who I love, who I, I cherish, then I have a problem with that. But I am always willing to, to talk to them and say, hey, man, you need to do this in order for me to do this. And if we can't come to that agreement, we got to be able to agree to disagree. Because I'm going to tell you, I hang out with Vlad. We hang out. We, we chill, blah, blah, blah. He's a cool dude. But when it comes to he knows he's making money off of us. You know, who isn't making money off of black people? They've been making money off of us since 1492. You know, look at the NFL. Look at the NBA. Look at look at what they have to go through. You know, a lot of them try to protest, but they still got to play ball. But we, we have to understand that we know these brothers got to get their money. But we have to understand they have families. You know what I mean? They have. But there's a lot of uh, ball players that do have integrity, but they can only say so much. You know what I'm saying? And it's it, I'm not saying I'm the same as LeBron and those cats, but you got to understand what we're navigating through. Because if you if you you can't burn all your bridges, man, then how am I going to reach you? See, half of you, you know what's so funny is half of you. Four, Vlad has four point maybe three million subscribers, but all of you motherfuckers haven't subscribed to my shit. All you, as, as much as you all are talking that shit. 100,000 over this bitch. You know, I'm saying all, I, we should, me and you should get 100,000 subscribers today. But no, we get two or three or four, but then people are telling us where we need to go. But why don't you all subscribe to my shit? Why don't you put my shit in the millions? So I don't have to go around to other platforms. And people say, well, why don't you try the Breakfast Club? The Breakfast Club is run by white folks. You understand? Thank you, Spirit of Ogun. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Breakfast Club, Hot 97. And I like the Breakfast Club, but I don't get invited to the Breakfast Club. Not because I don't know them. I mean, I know of them. They might know of me, maybe. But I don't get invited to the Breakfast Club. Vlad shit, every other month and a half, I'm able to talk to my people and keep that shit real. So right now, that's going to be on pause. Well, no, I mean, we still... I think I did a good job people. by myself. I think I did a good job. Hey, can I get an applause? Can I get an applause? Oh, my, for bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. There you go. Uh-huh. You deserve one. <laughs> again, again. Hercules, Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um... I don't know what the comments are saying, dude. I mean, they'll, they're, everybody's like, y'all did the right thing. Like, this is what the fuck we need. There, This is a bunch of, like, you know, arms up, claps, and hands like this. There's no, none of this, right? <laughs> nah, it's all thumbs up. Like, like, let's see. Some of the super chat. Uh, Maiden Dade, thank you. He said, I respect your stance. Spirit of Ogon said, I've been saying that Lord... That Lord Jamal and Godfrey should start their own thing. Corey Holmes checked Vlad for disrespecting Farrakhan and said no black stars should be on his show because he's making millions off black talent. Um, Deja Huggins said Vladislav is a very, 
vampiric name. <laughs> yes, That's hilarious. Thank you, Deja. <laughs> uh, Damon L. Um, he said, cancel Andrew Schultz, Adam 22, Rosenberg, and all culture vultures. Your people got you powernomics. New melanated money matrix. Reap your karmic rewards. Well, I mean, listen, guys. You want us to do this. You guys have to support us. You can't be half-stepping on that. Well, All you millions of motherfuckers need to come to us and, 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 and subscribe to our shit. Because it's about numbers. Because it's about being on code. Okay? Right. Like, again, we on code. You on, we all got to be on code. We all got to be on code. Now, don't get this twisted. Don't get being on code mean we all, as black people, now got to run out and vote for <laughs> whoever the fuck they telling us to vote. That does. That's not what we talk about being on code. But when we truly, you know, as a people, when we're truly deciding something as, as a unit, and, that, and you know, because all that voting shit is something that's being decided for us, and they're trying to... Uh, you know, influence us with certain shit. Um, yeah. So that's not what I'm talking about about being on code. But y'all know when 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 we decide something as black people, like right now, you know, I'm calling out all the John Sallies that go on there and the tradees and the BG knockouts and you know what I mean. All the people that I respect on there that I enjoyed seeing that I have a funny suspicion may have gone on there because they saw someone like you or I um, and said, you know what? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what? I think I would fuck around and be. And I know a lot of people. I bet you we influenced a lot of motherfuckers getting on there. I bet a you. Lot. I bet you. And so now we can uninfluence them. You know what I mean? And it's not, you know, it's not nothing hateful or nothing like, like that. Again, nobody wants to beat this dude up or no shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, but listen, if Vlad can come to a, 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 a point where he goes, you know what? I will give that apology. Bang. Not a problem, man. We're not like some two bitches in a lunchroom holding a goddamn grudge. We just want we want to improve ourselves as human beings, man. You can improve yourself and let the ego go. Why is it so egotistic? What's so hard about going... I'm sorry, blah, 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 and call it a day. I mean, my thing is, like, I'm not even a Muslim. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. I'm not even a Muslim. It doesn't take Farrakhan for me to... I'm not a Muslim. I never was a Muslim. I'm just a black man in America who suffers from the same plight that everybody else does. You know what I mean? He got me through college. I went to a very white university, my friends. University of Illinois. All right? Two hours, two and a half hours outside of Chicago. 45,000 students, 800 black. I love those speeches. Malcolm X, Minister, you know, James Baldwin, all that shit got me through college, man. Yeah, well, I went to the, uh, I went to the, U, uh, the UCLA. Did you go to UCLA? Yeah. Oh, the shit. I didn't know that. The University of the Corner of Lincoln Avenue. Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> Have a laugh on cue and all that. Yeah, uh, we had quite a few students there. Um, ah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, that, that that was really my university. Was that the, was that's oh, really that was that UCLA yeah. corner of Lincoln Avenue. <laughs> corner of Lincoln Avenue. But anyway. Uh, uh, Oh, I think you get good. an applause. You get an applause for that one. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That was good. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Why thank you? Why thank you? You know I'm a, I'm a wanna be comedian, right? Like you're gonna have. What you say? I said you know I'm a wannabe comedian, right? Of course, I know that. Yeah, like like you, the funny you, thing is, is you don't know, like, you're gonna have to really go over joke signs and shit. You know what I mean? Tell me right and shit. <laughs> we'll get on the stage one day. You know, <laughs> we're gonna try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make people laugh. And, and you probably could tell that on Vlad too. People be like, yo, you be having me dying on Vlad. Yeah, yeah, of course. But but Lord Jamar, you got the face of a dude that looked like you smacked the shit out of people. But you they don't understand 
you be acting a goddamn fool. Like, you know, I say, you don't understand. Jamar is a fucking clown. Like, he loves laughing, tripping. But he I just got that look. Like, he look, got that samurai look. Too, like. <laughs> you got that resting samurai face. <laughs> See, that, because that was like the old me. Like, the old me used to be very, very serious. Like, very serious. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Peak Freens is a very serious cookie. I was a peak cream. <laughs> I was a serious cookie. Um, yeah. But then at some point in my life, I was man, you need to relax, man. Like, just relax. Smile more. Smile and pick. You can still be serious. And, and, and it's like people with me, they thought I was the opposite. I thought you was goofy. I said, I mean, I, I'm a laughing dude, but I'm, a, I'm serious as fuck. And I'm angry to the motherfucker. Right. And see, I, yeah, that's kind of was the dike. I think with you, people thought that you were maybe not as conscious as you were. Man, you they, they, they were wrong as fuck, about, too. All about the jokes and shit like that. You know what they I mean? They were wrong. They was wrong. And here's the thing about jokes, though, uh, Laura, you know this. A lot of jokes come with anger and pain. But it's just that you're able to take that energy and, and, and make other people laugh. But you're really angry about a lot of shit. Right. Oh, I got shit to talk about. Hang on. Somebody said, Lord Jamal Godfrey needs to be one of the moderators in the 2020 presidential debate. <laughs> and somebody said, and grandma, and he said, and Grandmaster Jay is an agent of chaos. He did security for Trump at his rally. Yeah, what's, yeah, I saw that. Did you see that footage of him sitting in the audience? Yeah, that was crazy, yo. What's I mean, that? You know, what's that, that about? The things that we saw subsequently that was like, thank you, Jerry NRG Henderson. That was one of the things we saw subsequently that was like, oh, hang on. We just had this guy on the show. Like, what the fuck? And then a whole bunch of things started coming. Diedrich Kalanji, thank you. He said, thank you, Lord Jamar and the rest of the brand Nubians for waking me up. That black man is God and the colored is the devil. I was 13 and 14 at the time y'all dropped the first album. I'm the NOI because of some of y'all. I'm in the NOI because of some of y'all. Why, well, thank you. That's another thing. You know, this nigga Vlad yesterday was us, you know. Cause at the end of the day, he don't wanna he don't wanna apologize because of who he feels Farrakhan is. Mm. Like like, oh, somebody that at the end of the day, he thinks that my people are Satan. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm. Listen, even if he does. A lot of black people think that. <laughs> Brand Nubian was calling the white man the devil in, in, in all our fucking records when we first started, and you was jamming to them shits. Vlad, why, why be selective? See, that's another thing. Like, when I said, and I don't know, some people might have took what I said about hate speech, because at some point we... In that discussion about Vlad, I had mentioned something about hate speech. And then during Royce's discussion, he said something about hate speech. And I don't know if he understood what I was saying about it, as if I was chastising our people for using hate speech in, in our No, meeting. that's not what you were trying to, say, trying to say, man. What I was trying to say, it's not yeah. the reasons of why any kind of hate speech might be in our music. That's not the point. The point nope. is that we have normalized right. what we considered hate speech. We have raps that we all love where a black man is talking about, I'll shoot another black yeah, man, another black man. Right. and all that type of shit. I hit him up. All this type of shit, right? Um, That's right. Our favorite artists, and we've all enjoyed that shit in the past. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but now, when Farrakhan makes a a, a a a a a metaphor about hitting the J Mafia in the head with a rock, you got a problem with it, Black. But he didn't, he, but he like, didn't say a rock. You, have he a problem, said you don't have a problem with prodigies lyrics no, or, or none of these other rappers who talk about hurting black people you see what i'm saying that was my point so that's that's hate speech but you're it so is. you're zeroing in on this hate speech because you feel like it's directed to, towards you why are you doing that 
because you're on code. Because you're automatically just on code, which he don't even understand. And he's but, telling us he's alone in this. You ain't alone in this. But fair, the ministers, did, I, if everybody, I saw the whole speech on July 4th. I saw That's it. Outrage. That's right. He said a metaphor. You should throw the stone of truth at Satan. He was saying, he was talking about stuff from the Quran and biblical. He said, the, the Bible is full of metaphors and allegory and stuff like that. He said, throw a stone of truth. He was saying, speak to people with truth to shed the light off of, of bullshit. That's what he was saying. He didn't say throw a rock at somebody. He never said that. That's not fair to say that, you know? Lord, Even if you, whether you like the minister. That's right, yes. Whether you like the minister, listen, whether you like the minister or not, he did not say throw stones at people. He doesn't talk about violence. What he does do is say, we should be able to defend ourselves if someone's attacking us. You, they say that in martial arts classes. You don't start a fight unless you have to use your, your, your abilities. He never said it, and I've been to plenty of speeches. He is a master violinist, the minister. Master oh, violinist. Yes, he is. His teacher is a Jewish woman. Mm. So, it's mm. a Jewish woman that taught him how to play the violin. What's, what, what are we doing here, man? You know, and, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest. You know, in in the lessons that I have, it says the black man is God and the white man is the devil. Okay? Right. It says the white man it didn't say the Jewish man. It says the white man. Hey, that's the white man. And my thing is, and, and hold up, I've sat on Vlad's couch before, in his face, and he asked me, "So is the white man is the devil?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> what the fuck? You wasn't didn't stop fucking with me at that time. Then no, but then, but then you got specific on which white man. That's when he got mad, and that's what made him go super on code. When you specify, but then Vlad was a DJ for ten years, and you're sitting up there mixing songs about blacks killing blacks, and it's okay. You know, I get my gun, I blast nigga, and you're and you're and you're going, yo, I love those rap lyrics, those rap lyrics. Have you seen that TED talk? Um. Lord, have you seen that TED talk of that white dude who talks about the music industry and how black death oh, yes. sells? Yes, yes. Oh, fantastic! It's one fantastic. of the best TED talks I've ever seen in my life. And he talks about, wow. He goes, they'll talk about, hey, let's talk about people killing white people. Let's talk about. They go, nah, that ain't gonna sell. What about blacks killing blacks? Oh, wait a minute. I think that man. Everybody needs to see that TED talk about. About the blacks in the music industry. Well, Godfrey, you know what we should do right now, right? What? What? We should bring Vlad into the conversation. Is he coming? You have him right there with you, don't you? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you do Vlad! I got him. Oh, shit! <laughs> 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 Come on, B. Deep okay. take that motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't be on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, go off the camera. Wait, wait, hang on. I should maybe even change your name. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Get ready, y'all. We get we getting ready to bring um some questions for Mr. Vlad. We're gonna bring him on. Hang on a second. Where you at? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we bringing them on right now. Answer the hard questions. Be lad, where you at? All right. All right, man. Lord Jamar. Got me. What's up? Ah, I see you're the the, 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 the disembodied voice that you usually are, huh? Ah, uh, nah, man. I can't get on camera. I, I, yeah. I've been doing this for a long time, about 10 years. I'm not going to get on camera. A lot of people, a lot of people ask me, why don't, why don't I get a camera? It's not gonna happen. I just rather you guys do the interviews and I just stay off the camera. But uh, what's up? How you doing? Nice, you know, nice to be on your show. Yeah. So, uh, what's all this shit, man? Like, you on some bullshit right now for not uh, apologizing to the minister? Like, like, what's the purpose of your disrespect towards towards the 
towards the t towards the people that basically uh made you a millionaire what's that all about listen i, I listen i i looked at back i looked at, the, at, at, the, at what i did i made a statement i made a statement that i made a mistake i already made a mistake i want to move on i i'm not going to let people try to make it seem like they're not going to bully me into uh, uh apologizing I, I i made a mistake and i said it i made a statement i said i made a mistake i misquoted the minister and, and that was it i mean i don't know what the problem is i mean i've done it i even asked to sit down not to and i even said that the the the, the foi or the nation they could use their cameras and use it for their own uh footage i didn't say come on my thing just to get to get ratings and that i didn't say that so i've done my part but doesn't doesn't any like journalistic like outlet if they make a mistake and they have to make an attract a retraction or something don't they usually apologize for the mistake don't they usually isn't that i i, I normal, think that normal protocol? i think uh lord jamar you've been on my show a lot of times you know i'm a man i'm gonna stand for what i believe in and i i i i i think that my my statement was good enough you know i'm not i just feel like i'm being bullied it's more like a bullying thing i mean Everything I've done is not good enough. I've even talked. They wanted to bring a representative to sit down and talk to me. I said, I would rather personally, or even if it's a phone call, to apologize to the minister. And they refused that. So what am I supposed to do? And I said, I don't need you to come on the show. I'm not trying to clout chase. What I'm trying to do is I want to apologize as a man and apologize to you. You understand? So I, I don't even understand. But they refused it. So I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna stand with what I believe in. I mean, I understand if you guys don't agree with me, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. It is what we it don't is. agree with you. And so we're gonna stand with our people. You stand with your people, and um that'll be that. Oh uh, well, all right. I mean, listen, I, I respect you guys. You know, we've hung out a lot a, a few times, me, you, all of us, and I respect you guys as, as what you do. And you know, we as long as we respect each other, there's no hate. If you never talk to me again or whatever, you know, who knows? But you know, I respect that. That's why I came on your show right now. All right, you know, it just is what it is. And uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what to say, you know. And I, I tried. I, I I put my hand out. I tried to uh, make amends, and uh, you know, they, they they didn't want to agree with that. But I don't want to be sitting well, here. It's not going to be done on your terms, though. See, that's the thing. It's not going to be done on your terms. It's going to be done on our terms. We've decided uh, as a collective that you need to apologize. And if you don't apologize, you're being canceled by the people. Period. Well, you no, know, it happens. is what it is. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm doing fine whether with or without you guys. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But it's not to put anybody down. It's uh, you know, I I, I mean, I just gotta keep it going. I mean, this is this that this hasn't happened to me before. You know, I've had disagreements with a lot of people. I had disagreements with Nick Cannon. I've had disagreements with uh, Charlemagne the God, and we're cool now, but it happens, you know? We just, as long as we're men about it, you know, it, it is what it is. But all right. I mean, hey, what are you going to do? Uh, Lord Jamar, God, it's nice to be on your show, you know? <laughs> Here uh, we are. Yeah, well, uh, well, I guess that's that, man. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that you, that you come to this fucking decision, and uh, yeah. Don't be a problem for you now. You're gonna see the the the, the, the gradual descent, um, and it's not gonna be pretty. And I hope uh, 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 apology doesn't come too little, too late. Uh, well, all right, man. You guys take it easy. All right. Bring God. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh wow, that was that was uh, Vlad. Yeah, man. Fucking guy. <laughs> He just was at your crib, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. He don't like to be on camera, even at my house. He he sat, sits in the closet and talks to me. Don't be on camera. He hides a lot of stuff, don't he? Yeah, he hides a lot of shit. He hides behind shit. Yeah, he was mad about the inadvertent um, revealing that he had a wife and kids that were black. I mean, you know, and I brought that up to be, and he knew, he, and he said, I know you didn't do it to be disrespectful. I said, I had to be contextual. I had to really put things in perspective because if you're, if you're, if you're, you're the, your, your family is of color. I mean, let's keep it real. And it would just look like almost 
a fetishy thing if you couldn't just apologize when you're hurting the culture and, and people are like, people that are fans of your show are saying, hey man, we really like your show. We fuck with you, Vlad. Now you're not even want to apologize to us. So all we're good for is just what we, and, and, and it makes you feel like, you know, we're, we're just always used for, you know, monetary gain or sexual gain or, and that's what I was putting that in perspective. I was not trying to disrespect his family at all. And I, one bit, and he knew that I, he knew that it just came out of my mouth because we're just talking, we're talking about black shit. So that shit's going to come out. You know what I mean? And a lot of times I said, sometimes that's an example of just because you with somebody of another color, don't mean you respect their culture. You can still see them as second class citizens. You can still see them as arm charms. You know what I mean? And that gets a little played out because because being with somebody of another race has never solved racism, really. It never solves it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't solve it. People can still call you a nigga and still be holding the hands of a black woman. Still, someone could call you a chink and have an Asian girlfriend. I mean, Mitch McConnell has an Asian wife and look at how fucked up he is. He's a racist piece of shit. And he's and he has an Asian Asian wife. So he's a piece of shit. So it it does and I'm not saying that he's like that, that Vlad's like that. I'm not saying that. But th let's not act like we are, you know, racial harmony saviors when we're fucking somebody from another race. In general, I'm saying. All right. You know, you know what I mean? Because I mean, Eve, what Eve got a white husband, uh a lot of people got a white husband. Is it because they love them? I don't know. It could be because they they mad at black men. That's why a lot of times people, you know how we are. A lot of black dudes will date white women because they mad at black women, which is fucked up. I, I'm like this. It's okay. Listen, interracial shit, cool, but do it because you love them, not because you have an agenda or you mad at a whole race of people. Insecurity is a motherfucker, dude. It's yeah. a motherfucker. It carries out in a lot of weird ways, man. Definitely. Yeah. Well, shit. What else is going on? <laughs> <laughs> ah, but my thing is this too, though. No, Lord, I'm telling people this. So since you don't, we, we decided we're going to take a break on the Vlad shit. Maybe he'll get a change of heart and go, I'm going to do a real apology. No, 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 no. What? We're not taking a break. We're not fucking with Vlad. We're not fucking. We're not fucking with him. So because listen, he's not gonna change. He's not changing. Well, if you're not, oh. well, if you're not gonna change, we're not gonna do it anymore. Right. So, so fuck all of this taking a break type of shit. Let's say what it is. So 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 my thing is, do you guys have another platform for us? Hook us up. You guys got to All you million oh, of motherfuckers. Platform right here, bro. No, okay then. We need to get. We need to have about three, four million subscribers, guys. Don't fucking play. You need to bring your ass over here. First, we got to hit that 100,000. Thank you, Dre Day 99. Um, first, we got to hit that 100,000. Um, then that buck 50, 200. We're going to, trust me, we're going to get there now. We're going to get there. This is actually going to be a blessing in disguise. Watch. Um. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh. Mary E. She said an apology would be nice, but his mindset needs to change. Lord Jamal and Godfrey get much respect for this. Oh, I see the I see the um Yeah. The, the, I see the comment finally. I just my well, first I time. That come on, I could make that come onto the screen. I don't know why you I guess I can, I can show all I can I can click all comments, I guess, and make them I haven't seen any comments. I might be saying some dumbass so, shit and people get mad. I want to see people oh, shit. I see how this works. Again. I got a new um I got a new thing that I'm using here, this 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 StreamYard thing. I'm not using Zoom anymore. Oh, okay, StreamYard, yes. Bronze Cartier says yes. Do these oh, right, look at that. And 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 yeah, and, and I click on people's comments and yeah. And and show yeah. all this stuff like that. So this is, you know, we I'm probably gonna have to get somebody. This warms my heart. All right. Thank you. Um, I might need somebody to like work this behind the scenes for me. Um, you know, yeah. 
somebody like my brother Greg Abraham or somebody like my brother Jay Netta, who I think might be watching right now. Shout Jay out. Netta. Yeah, shout out to the God uh Godcast crew. We still in here. YG. Um Digger will be back. You know, we figured that this episode right here, you know, it directly uh dealt with Godfrey and I. So you oh, know. we have to do this one. I mean, you know what's funny? It's people like, and I had to like ignore all the, yo, man, I was just in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Shout out to Bridgeport, the stress factory. I had a cat going, you in my city. You need to bring Vlad over here, man. You sit up there, man. Fuck all. I'm like, yo, man, I'm not answering nobody. I'm just like, we just got to make this video. <laughs> we got to do this podcast because these motherfuckers are coming at me, man. God damn. <laughs> you see this? Mary E said, "Love you, Godfrey." Night owls, all right. <laughs> Night owls, yeah, baby. There you go. That's yeah. Cool. Somebody said we need to get Boosie on this bitch. They said this should be doing numbers. Yeah, that boy. That boy bought. Oh, uh, that boy Vlad bought Gooch, uh, uh, Boosie some Versace uh, dinnerware for Christmas. Why couldn't he buy us some? We didn't get nothing. Oh, well, that's because Boosie is his biggest, has the biggest numbers out of everybody. Oh, that's true. You know. That's true. He had to, he had to, he had to war the top. Fuck everybody else that helped build this shit up. Like, <laughs> it was no million after Lord Jamar. It was a million shit. Trust me. <laughs> like, I brought heat to that shit. And, yeah, I'm sure he's going to laugh and be like, oh, I did all this myself. Trust me. If you was covering, if he had to cover Russian, Jewish Russian culture on the channel, <laughs> who the fuck do you think would watch that? Yeah, nobody's going to listen to that. Nobody's going to listen to that. No, nobody's going to listen. All the other cultures pale in comparison to black culture. That's why everybody and their mama got a black TikTok dance routine. Everybody listens to our shit, but then they want to nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga that. But then, you know, like, the only way they can be cool or exist is to copy us. Like, as far as hip hop and just black culture and all of that is concerned. We're the dopest. We're the fucking dopest, period. Well, I'm saying us right here, though, are like a thousand times more official than a DJ Vlad. Like, I'm way more of a better DJ than a DJ Vlad. Like, I actually would battle DJ Vlad in a DJ battle and will possess. What? <laughs> oh, I'm nice at DJing. You don't know that? Not really, because you gotta sh you're gonna have to one day get on the turntables and we're gonna have to do it live. You're gonna oh, do it. Yeah, I probably should. I probably should. I'm nasty. You, you, you should be patient. You should do about 10, 15, 20 minutes of a set, and I'll be on here, you know. You know, I was going to do one of those IG joints one day, you know what I mean, how people was doing this shit, um, but I don't know. I just no, I'm going to say on this, you need to oh, be yeah. at the turntables, and I'll be like, okay, next one. You be the MC. You be the MC. And you should <laughs> shout out to motherfucking Kashu in the house. I'll be like, DJ Lord Jamar, DJ LJ in the building. You ain't seeing it going down. I'll do that. Oh, he said he's going to have to. In Supreme, Supreme said Vlad going to have to interview Kalyan Noir, Maj Torre, I Candace Owens, Sage Steele, and the rest of the Butter Biscuit Brigade from now <laughs> on. Listen, Yo. if we if we make it if we make it so bad that they might not even want to go on it. <laughs> like like we could make it so corny like the whack juice is just dripping well if my thing want. is black folks if we are really about this movement and you see what we've done stuck on code you fuckers got to show up to our shit man you can't just have us do that and then you be over there giving them numbers and don't give us none. Fuck that. All right? Hey. Fuck that. We all got to be on code. Well, I, we got to spread it and spread that money over to us. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you, we can't be 
200 views here to fuck all that. We need to be in the hundred thousands of millions too. Why, while we sit up there like, okay, we ain't fucking with Vlad no more. All right, what y'all doing? Huh? Because some of y'all going to sneak over there and keep watching those interviews, you little bastards. I know you are. Watch. The motherfuckers are going to be watching those interviews. Watch. I'm telling you, they are. Izenda Omar said, time for us to control the narrative. Bless up. Thank you, brother. And, it, and, 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 and controlling the narrative is, is, is having numbers and people supporting us 100%. All right? Go ahead and do your thing. Love you. Thank you, Black, Black Butterfly. We Black love Butterfly. You. Thank you. We can have a whole new Black Renaissance, man. You all, we got enough Black people to put all of our Black podcasts on the map, and y'all are all spread out all over the fucking place. Come on, man. So easy. Somebody said, DJ Universal said, Lord Jamar made DJ Vlad. I heard that. I heard that. Uh, somebody here said, Daylight and Godfrey on the same podcast would just be motherfucking gold. Oh, with Daylight. I got Daylight's number. I fuck with Daylight. Daylight is another actually like conscious dude that you wouldn't know is conscious. From a lot of the antics that he's done in the past. <laughs> but I've actually had some deep conversations with Daylight, and Daylight is, yeah. Daylight knows some things. Cool. Next level yeah. is a big move. Great to see you brothers doing this. Why well, thank you, Next Level. Ty Lawson, what's going on? He said, How do you feel about the Ty Lawson situation going on right now? I'm not familiar with Ty Lawson. Who's that? Somebody said, Vlad, okay, thank you, Will D. But Will D says, Vlad been like this, so why was y'all ever going on like this? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't even understand. No, he ain't. That's a dumbass question. Yeah, he wasn't disrespecting the minister or nothing like this. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's why we went on. We went on because it was just a fucking platform for us to talk. So that's a dumb question. Why are you still showing up at your job, buddy? <laughs> I'm just saying, why are you still showing up at your job? It's not, you know, yeah, come on. Job. They've been fucking supporting slavery and all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we still living in America? If we want to get real petty, come on, stop. Yeah. And like I said, I was on there to because a, a, a frame of reference like mine, a, a point of view like mine was not being heard out there in the mainstream. You see what I'm saying? Like they were almost trying to silence the OGs, trying to silence the ones who really have the knowledge of original hip hop and what this shit really means and what it's really about. Um, and just people who don't think in a in a in a mainstream type of way. And I knew that that was valuable, that my my outlook on a lot of things are valuable for people to hear. So again, for me it was more than I mean, did I see flaws in this guy's personality? Of course, but I see flaws in a lot of people's personality. And I let that shit go. You know what I mean? Like um but I felt like getting my point of view out to the people, and especially the young people, you know what I mean, was very important. And I knew that that was a hub that people um, people rock with, people engage with, you know, people was watching. I had been watching it just prior to me start messing with it. And I, I liked the format of it. Yeah, of course. And I said, you know what? I would be good on here. I felt like I'd be good. So when he asked me to come on there, why not? You know? Why don't they go talk to Michael Jai White and go say something to him? Hey, why is your big kung fu ass on there? See what happens. Well. I'm just saying, like, everybody got on there for a reason. Michael Jai White's getting ready to fall in line just like everybody else. Why? And Michael Jai is dope. And his interview was fantastic. We need to get Corey Holcomb, like they said. Yeah, right here. Thank you, Tyrell Young 
Kiangazi. Tyrell Kiangazi. Get get with Corey Holcomb. He talked about us not going on Vlad platform. Please make that happen. The money I is- talked to Corey about it already, He's too. Already to about it. All right. Yeah. Because I, I do Corey Holcomb's. Uh, I do 5150. I've been on a few times. I brought Tiffany Haddish on there. Oh, man. I'd like to go on. Yeah. I, yo, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Corey's my Chicago. That's my homie right there, man. Word up. Well, uh, I'm sure this is news now. I thought uh, I'm sure this is going around. Oh, I what? forgot to say something. What's that? I wanted to say this. I had a, a hour conversation with Cam, by the way, a few days ago. Had a I really good conversation as well. Had a really good conversation with Cam. Because Cam made a video saying, hey, yo, God, because he gave me and shout out to Atheon Crockett, gave me and Atheon a really good, like, shout out. Say, hey, man, I fuck with Atheon and God, we love what they're mm-hmm. doing online, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Cam is um, Cam is an, 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 an NOI brother. He's like the West Coast. Oh, wow. N-O- yeah, and he even told me. Not Cameron. Cam. Not Cameron. Cam. K-A-M. K-A-M. From the West Coast. And he even said a lot of cats in the music industry don't fuck with him because he's so real. And he calls a lot of cats that you'd be surprised that we know calls them out on a lot of their shit. Mm -hmm. And he goes, so a lot of them motherfuckers have always, have always been on point with shit. And he talked to me and I texted him right away. I said, hey, Cam, what's up? You want to talk? Let's talk. Because he was like, yo, God, what's up? Let's talk. I said, let's do it. What's up? And so we talked for an hour. And he says, yo, man, I like what you're doing. Everything you've done, you've always showed integrity. You've always represented us the proper way. But when this thing came up, I was like, "I listen, I get how you're trying to navigate. I get it. I'm, a, I'm an artist myself. But he's about to drop a song about Vlad. He's, a, he's, a, he's dropping one about him. He's about to go in on him. And he, I go, that's you. You got it. That's he has to take his beating. You know, and he goes, but I just want to let you know, he goes, I want to talk to Lord Jim. I said, I said, we, we want we want you on the podcast, bro. He goes, anytime. I said, hell yeah, come on the podcast. We that's what we're about. So I had a great conversation with him. We 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 talked it out. Don't put so me in the song, Cam. What? I said, don't put me in the song, Cam. Ain't nobody caping. No, no, that. he ain't putting us in the song. He goes, I, I'm about to go in on him, but he said, whatever you need, whatever we need, he goes. I'm the muscle to a lot of this shit. Whatever we need, you know, you we, you know, you can always ring up my shit. I said, that's cool. I just wanted to have a dialogue with you because you don't know me. You gave me a shout out. But I'm the type of person that I will sit down and talk to a person. I don't I don't want somebody just you keep going off on me. He goes, I never went off on you. I just wanted to talk to you to see where you're at because I like what you do. Even within you navigating in Hollywood, what you're doing is you ain't compromising yourself. You don't do that punk shit, and I respect you. So I want this sealed the deal with you talking to me. And I said, "This is cool, man." Now yeah. I'm gonna be honest. You know, like this is not the first time that he's disrespected one of our elders. He did disrespect, in my opinion, Doctor Sabi. Um, oh, he sure did. But people were not as emotional about that. Right. 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 And let's and and why not? Because the because, popularity wasn't there. Well, the popularity and health wise, and some and and a lot of people were not as he doesn't have as many followers as let's say a Farrakhan does. Right, and Farrakhan, yeah. you know, been doing this since. But I bet you all the people that fucking followed Dr. Sebi felt the same way that mm-hmm. a lot of people in the Nation of Islam feel oh. now. Oh, they went off on him, and you know what? I, I when I was arguing with him, enough, maybe they could have got a, a solidarity where we was all on code earlier. But that, I'm just saying, we can't have selective outrage either. They, on our I time. said it. That's what I'm saying. It has on to be time. all across the board, right? So, so y'all was mad about Farrakhan. Y'all need to be just as mad about Ooh. Dr. Sabi as what you were saying about Dr. Sabi. That's what I said, it and can't be. be Let's add that apology to the mix too. And that's yeah. somebody he'll never apologize to either. Oh, please. 
Jesus. He claimed to the, the, the cure AIDS. There's no proof of that. This is the, all the type of bullshit he's telling me. Like, you know what I mean? Well, he, you know, I told him all effects and all this other shit. Fuck out of here. But Jamar, I don't know if you, you know, he, he, I was on the episode where we were talking about Dr. Sabi that I have a guy that's probably doper than Dr. Sabi. No disrespect, Dr. Sabi. And he didn't believe it. But he didn't believe He goes, You have a guy. I go, I got a guy. And I told people on my, um, on, on the episode, whoever is interested in healing, real next level healing, I got a guy out of Brooklyn. Been with him for 20 years. If you want healing, let me know. Send me a DM to my comedian Godfrey Instagram and I'll give you the information. He's the real deal. Right. So I bring that up to say, you know, a lot of people weren't as emotionally charged as maybe right. some people wanted them to be. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So now when yeah. all of this started, I think a lot of people wanted us to be more emotionally charged about it than, yeah. than we let on. Uh -huh. Even though I dreamed on Homeboy in private or whatever. You know what I mean? But like, since y'all didn't get to see it or, or 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 hear what I actually said to this motherfucker, and I'm not gonna, you know, get into my private conversations and all of this and give you a blow by blow of my private conversation with someone, even if I'm not messing with him. Um, but trust me, he was blamed on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 and, and, and but but then you have people acting like. Oh, why don't y'all have the same energy? Da, 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 da. Well, well, all, all that shit is done now. You know what I mean? Lord Jamal and Godfrey have announced we're not going back on Vlad TV. He didn't apologize, so we're not fucking with him. And I suggest everyone else, uh, anybody that was influenced uh, to come on there because of me, then I am now influencing you to not go on there. Okay? So... But at the end of the day, it's all up to you. If you feel like this is really helping you in your life and all of that, then um, go for it. But he ain't really, you know, like his argument, oh, you know, people benefit from being on my thing. Things go up. Nah, not really. Not really. You know, you, you see a little more interest. People recognize me on the street, shit like that. But as far as direct money in my pocket, I don't fucking profit financially from Vlad TV. You know what I mean? Not even not even really indirectly. You know, how I profit is by planting seeds mm -hmm. of thought. Well, and another reason why I did it too. In the masses of the people by planting certain seeds of thought. That's how I profit. Well, my thing was doing that as I reached another demographic and I said, even when I go live and when I'm doing comedy shows, I was getting more people coming for, because they're like, oh, man, I'm coming to see him. I want to come see, you know, I was looking at it at, at a bigger picture. You know what I mean? And then this is something Vlad made. And I said, yeah, but my shows, I was thinking, because anytime a comedian gets on a platform, we just trying to build. We just want our live shows to, 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 we just want butts in the seats when people come to see us. That's why we do the social media. That's why we do those. If I didn't have to do any of that social media shit, you don't think I want to be on a hit TV show and call it a day? Do you think I want to do this shit all the time? Fuck no. Fuck no. You know, I would love to be on a show. Bam. Oh, I seen you on Power. Everybody's coming to see me. But I, I don't have it like that right now. I, it's not like that right now. So I use these different platforms to reach my folks so that they come see me live. You know? Right. You know, so that's what I use it. So when someone asks me, why are you on there, dumbass? Because that's why you know me. <laughs> but if it's if, if, if it has to do with put, throwing our people under the bus, disrespecting black women, black men, black children, I ain't for it. I'm not, I don't need it. I'm going to keep moving, man. The universe will have more for us. Peace, goddess, Diana. Y'all make Vlad relevant. Facto. We make him cool, make him all of that. Because let me also explain the psych, the psychology behind what I see with this guy. Vlad is the Vlad is the guy that was like bullied and shit in school. He wasn't cool or nothing like that. Even when he said he was a break dancer, he was probably one of these little fringe guys. He wasn't doing no crazy shit or whatever like like he was the type 
that was probably picked on and, and just didn't get no broads and all of that type of shit until he got some money. You know what I mean? Like, 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 and that happens to a lot of people. You didn't get no respect. Now you get some money. Now you're able to get broads. You're able to get gear. You're able to get things. Now you're meeting people that you, you know, always wished you could meet. You start to feel like, oh, you know. Yeah. I'm cool with some cool motherfuckers. I'm almost cool now by association. You know? Yeah. Um, and yeah. That ain't it, kid. Like, like, that ain't it. So now he feels like for the 12 years or whatever that he's been doing his lads, you know, he said, I didn't work 12 years to do, to do such and such. I said, you know how long Minister, the honorable minister has been working 12 years. He might have been working 40, 50 years. Like, fuck are you talking about 12 years? Like, 12 years should get you some super respect over yo, 40 years of work. Yo, like, I just got I just got a DM, right? From someone, right? Uh-huh. And they said, uh, why are you and Lord Jamar beefing with Vlad? I said, We're not beefing with the guy. We're not we're, we're beefing with him. Right. Does this mean you won't be on the show? Yes. As friends, have the two of you spoke to him privately about this before bringing it to public? Yes. We have. Yes. And he says, I've heard you call him a friend. Is this really the right way to handle the? Oh, you're late, miss. You're late. Yeah. I'm not going to bring her name up. You're late. You're late. We Whatever. talked to Vlad personally. We're not punks. Yesterday. We talked yeah. to him yesterday. If we were so horny to do this, we would have jumped off the phone and got right on the motherfucking shit. We waited yeah. today to do the shit. He knows this is coming. He knows everything. That's if real a friend. If you're a friend, you are going to you. You have to be able to deal with the times when you're not in agreement. Agreement. The true measurement of a man is when shit is fucked up, not when shit is perfect. Right. And you got to be ready to you know. Confront certain things head on, you know what I mean. So, anyway, yeah. So, I think uh, <laughs> I think this was yeah. So yeah, I'm getting, you know you get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this shit. This shit is crazy because it's too bad because it, it's too bad because he does have a great platform. We were having a lot of fun. A donation, but shut the fuck up with your bitch ass. What? Talking about what I'm talking right now sounds more like gossip. How the fuck it sound like gossip, you fucking dickhead? Go eat oh, up. Shit. Shit. oh, shit. <laughs> sounds like we gossiping? Oh, she's talking to me. They was talking to me. Like, I well, my thing is this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, wait a minute. Wait a minute. When, you t when you're on a podcast, you talk about things. And if you call calling that gossip, then you shouldn't listen to podcasts. Because podcasts, you talk about shit. We're not gossiping. What kind of okay. gossip it is for me to come on here and say that we're not going on Vlad no more? How is that me gossiping? Right, right. This is what I'm saying. I'm not going to hear say. This is coming from the fucking source, from the horse's mouth. The fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Shut your fucking cock fucking holster. What the hell is that? Oh, man. That's crazy. Right down. Godfrey, you will be the new Paul Mooney. That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. There it goes. It says, Love from Chi Town, I guess. All right. Love from Chi Town. You'll be the new Paul Mooney. I say, I told you, nigga, you motherfuckers didn't listen. That oh, nigga, we nigga does not like you. You got your nigga wake up call. Got your nigga wake up call. I'm tired of you niggas. You knew Vlad wasn't shit, but your ass couldn't wait to get some views. Now, nigga, they view your ass, your biscuit dancing motherfuckers. I told you, you niggas don't understand. White. Folk don't give a fuck about none of you niggas. Like Stop, <laughs> Stop cooning. I told you, you just kept talking, talking that bullshit. Nigga, 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 nigga. That's all you are is niggas. You niggas. All you motherfuckers are niggas. Now nigga. you got your nigga wake up call. 
Is it? Oh, Mental Execution Channel. Thank you. We appreciate you. Once again. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Oh, I saw you, Queen Queen Crafts, in here. Thank you. I don't know if you are moderating on uh, YouTube for me right now, but I appreciate you if you are. Um, I like this new um uh, new thing we're using here. This streamyard is pretty dope. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's the blog's bullets, you know. I like it. It's much better than the fucking Zoom. Much better than me fucking Zoom. Fucking Zoom is fucking bullshit. This is much oh, better, you know. I like this one right here. This is a good one right here. It's it much better. It's much tighter, you know. <laughs> I like to read the comments. It's much the comments are nice much. and everything. I still like that, you know. But last time I didn't like it because we didn't have enough, you know. We couldn't see the comments, you know. Try it. Not... <laughs> fucking yeah. Man. You think it's gossip, don't you? Think a fucking fuck off there, mate. Fuck off. How about that? You know, bullshit. Say it's gossip. But what am I? Huh? Do I look bothered? Smack your fucking teeth out of your mouth is what I do. You look cockney accent, eh? It's what I do. I don't like that. You know, I'm a fucking man first, you know? Sure. I don't like with these blokes come around me. I'm a geezer. I'm from the streets, you know? You don't know who you're dealing with, my mate. Fucking cunt, any? Yeah. You know what I do? I smack you, yeah? Right in front of your lady. That's what I do. I don't give a shit. What is your lady? <laughs> right in front of your bird, you know? You know? Don't do that. It's trying to test me, and I don't like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a decent man. I'm a decent individual. I'm I don't want to start no man. trouble. I don't want no trouble, you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. Ibrahim Barrow, thank you. Mademoiselle Ali, thank you. Lawrence Goggins, thank you. Podcast, the podcast, love. Right on, man. Right on. You damn. All right, well. I guess uh, on the next one, we'll have Digger back on the show, and we'll be talking about, I don't know, Cardi B's wet-ass pussy. All and, right. And the fact that it wasn't wet enough to keep her husband. <laughs> they, and I guess a, a wet-ass pussy is just not enough. Uh, wet-ass pussy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Anything else going on that you want to talk about? Or? Anything? No, this is pretty much what I wanted to. I mean, we've been on here like an hour and 40. Yeah. This is pretty much good enough. This is what we needed to send people. So if we talk about something else, then it looked like we weren't serious. But this is it. 2,600 people checking us out. That's all right. How many? 2,600. Damn. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you motherfuckers are in Chicago October yeah. I hope you guys are in Chicago October 15th through the 18th. I will be at the Chicago Improv October 15th through the 18th. And it's good because it's COVID safe. It's half capacity. They set it up for us to actually perform, which a lot of these comedy clubs have been doing. Shout out to Bridgeport, Connecticut, for you all showing up to my shows this weekend. Thank you for coming out. But October 15th through the 18th. Yeah. Where are you? The 15th to the 18th? October 15th, 18th, I'm at in Chicago, the Chicago Improv in Schaumburg. Chicago Improv in Schaumburg. I know there's some Chicago people sending me love, so y'all need to show up. If we really talking about, you know, if we talking about us um, standing on code, we all need to do that shit financially too. We need to, it's about numbers, it's about economic base. It's about economic base. It's about having our own shit. You can't say we support you and you, ain't, you don't show up to our shows. That's bullshit. You got to show up October 15th through the 18th. Schaumburg Improv. Get the tickets now, God damn it! I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. <laughs> and I'll be in a motherfucker. You know, and uh, um, I think also Helium Comedy Club in St. Louis. I know there's St. Louis love. 
at the end of October from like the 24th, the weekend of the 24th, the Helium Comedy Club in St. Louis, St. Louis. So, yo, Midwest, get ready in October, baby. Now I mean? Back doing shows and shit like what'd you say? At least you out there back doing shows and shit like that. Yeah, like, man. It, it, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm really it's better than nothing. I'd be like, but people go like this, but what if the money ain't as much? I go, motherfucker, I'm getting something. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Something better than nothing, man. You know, income, motherfucker. Fuck the outcome. I want the income. Okay. Incoming, incoming. Oh. You know, so it's nice to be on stage and just working out the kinks and just getting into that, into that fucking, you know, that vibe again, man. It's beautiful. And people want to hear what you got to say. They want you to talk about the COVID. They want you to talk about, you know, all that cool shit. And guess what, Lord Jamar? What's that? I'm leaving to L.A. at the end of the week because I'm going to be shooting Tiffany Haddish's uh, They Ready Netflix series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing, you know, 20 minutes, me. Tony was about four, six comedians. So we're going to be doing a kind of a Netflix mini special. Oh, stand -up comedy. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. And, and just shout out to Tiffany Haddish for just literally reaching back and pulling motherfuckers up and, and, and risk. She, she's a fucking phenomenal person, man, because Negroes do not do that in our business. They're very horrible. A lot of them are very horrible. And Tiffany Haddish reaches back. Me, Tony Woods, uh, Dean Edwards, and a couple other comedians are going to be shooting the Netflix series, man. No. Yeah, no. so that's why I'm going to L.A. for about two weeks. I'll be there for like 15 days. Nice. So, yeah. I usually don't say shit, but I'm, I'll, I can say it on this one. So I'll okay. say it on this one. All right. Well, we, we, we got a lot of breaking news here then. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, man, we, we appreciate everybody joining us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Again, yeah, good. I feel good about this. I feel really good about this yeah. today. Really good. I hope, and sorry, I hope that everybody is clear on what we said. Do not try to find a way to pick at our shit. We just said we're not doing the black shit anymore. So don't fucking find some kind of way to fucking screw this up. <laughs> you know, I talked to Cam. And we agreed. We had a great relate, a great conversation. He's gonna be on the fucking podcast, so don't try to fucking turn it. Yeah. See, I also uh, I reached out to um, Oyster Five Nine. Yeah, let's get him on there. Let's do it. Um, I think we're gonna have a discussion. Yeah. Why not? Probably after that. After this. He's going to definitely want to have a discussion. But there it is. There is the <coughs> message of the day. The moral of the story is on the screen right now, Godfrey. Yes. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. Everybody, well, stay on um, code. S-O-D, S-O-D. Listen. S-O-D. S-O-D. But my thing is, too, that every other culture has been staying on code for hundreds of years. It's about time we stay on it. And and we got to get rid of the Negroes that aren't staying on code. They got to, no, they got to, because they're pushing that agenda to fuck things up too. You know, there's some of those people too. But we need to, as a unit, everybody stay on code. So you know what's so funny? Everybody can come together to come down on us and shit on us. You notice how everybody swarms on us, right? Right? Which is fine. So why can't we swarm on our, as far as Patreon, Swarm on that. Swarm on cash so, app. So, yeah, swarm on that. Swarm on us financially. Swarm on us when we're live and performing. Fill the rooms up. Don't just swarm on us to fucking shut us down and talk shit. Okay, fine. We do your bidding. We agree. We get it. Now swarm on us as far as when we have a project coming on. Swarm on us on that. And let me just say, let this be a lesson to us as a people that we can apply pressure to our celebrities to 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 to, to make change out here. Um, if you if you see someone taking a stance that you don't agree with and you want them to choose a side, 
hit them up, call them out on it. You know what I mean? Because many some people might not do nothing until they're called out on it. It all depends. You know what I mean? Um, but the people have the power. Always, always remember that. The people have the power. And we have more power together collectively than we do individually. And they try to act like, you know, we're a society of individuals. Nah, that's all some bullshit. Yep. Right? They, yep, 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 yep. Thank and you. And they always feel like we're not going to be able to stick together because we're so, we don't have our own platforms. We're always desperate for money and, and we're like crackheads. Give us five bucks and we'll break the code. Now nah, we got to show these motherfuckers. Nah, because our unity is what's going to help us out. And they've always known that, you know. But but the thing is, fuck wearing the black power T-shirts all out. We're always good at decorating ourselves, but nobody puts anything into action, you know. So we need to really be about it. So True indeed. So you fuckers better be on our shit, and we better have millions of followers after this. My shit be leaking in, goddammit. It needs to be growing bigger than that. Shit. Facts. <laughs> this canceled no jumper, too. Yeah, I'm with that. Fuck that dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on. Let's start controlling all our own shit. All our own narratives. Seeing ourselves how we want to see ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, listen. We appreciate everybody for joining us. This is our first time doing it on streaming live. live and on um Periscope and all of that type of stuff. So that's, well, still, that's still around Periscope? Yeah, that's Twitter. Twitter Oh Twitter, Twitter's live screen stream is through Periscope. Okay. So yeah, we got a hell of a lot of uh, more eyes on us right now. Oh, Ayana, thank you. Appreciate you. Um, Don't forget, follow me on the Instagram, Comedian Godfrey, and my podcast, In Godfrey We Trust, Gas Digital Network, In Godfrey We Trust, Gas Digital Network, Tuesdays, Fridays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Or you can go on YouTube and see some of my episodes or you go to Godfrey Comedy on YouTube. Also, you should be subscribing to my personal YouTube channel, Godfrey Shy, short for Chicago. You should be building our numbers up. So, well, you know what we can do? I have the capability now uh -huh. to stream to up to eight different platforms simultaneously. Oh, so really? Next one, if you like, we can hook it up to your fucking YouTube as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we could put it on Digger's YouTube. Okay? <laughs> now we balling, balling. Okay, now we balling, balling. <laughs> okay? So we're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna hook that up for the next one. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Because my shit has been sitting dormant. I don't know what the fuck to do with it, yo. All right, well, now you can build it. You can build on it. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be way better. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah, the stream yard is the bomb. You got to pay for the pro one, but if you pay for the pro one, you get a lot of good shit on it. You know what I mean? Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, I think we're going to be out now. Um, we're going to be out. It's almost two hours, everybody. A two hours of real dope shit, and don't you and this don't up. call it a rant either. This ain't no fucking rant. This is a rant? Yeah, we was building. This was a two-hour build, almost a it's a, build. Build. It's build. a discussion. It's a movement. It's a it's a it's it's a pivoting. It's a pivoting on. Also, we're actually doing this video for y'all also to pivot your shit too, not just us. Like, hello, I'm giving you a frame of reference of how we can move as a people. This is a frame of reference, y'all. Okay. Um, Wait, got, I just researched that uh, link. Subs on your. On your I got eighty-eight thousand on my on my my podcast on YouTube. I'm trying to get to hundred thousand. Yes, right. Eighty-eight thousand, which is great. But now my my personal one, Godfrey Shy C H I. 
I'm trying. I only have like maybe thirty thousand or twenty. It's whack. It's whack. It's garbage. He said, it's garbage. It's trash. It's straight garbage, baby. It's garbage. garbage. It's terrible. Basura. 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 But uh, yeah. So man, listen. Um, you know, we said what we had to say. Um, built on what we need to build on. Y'all got your marching orders. Y'all know what to do. Um, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, share, comment. Um, this shit go viral, actually. Let's make this one go viral. Why not? They're going to be like, oh, shit. Lord Jamar and Godfrey ain't fucking with Vlad no more. That's big fucking dude. Y'all you know better I mean? spread this out. And Royce to 5'9", spread it out. Yes. Let motherfuckers know. Yes. Don't, 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 don't spread out the shit where you dogging us. Spread it out where we like come and correct. No, I think he will. I think we. <laughs> uh, I mean, him and I are going. I like Royce. I like Royce. Oh, He's dope as shit. Too. Absolutely. Um, Royce is dope. Cam is dope. But you know, much respect to all of those brothers. Yeah. And Willie D. By the way, Willie D. Another dope. I, I hang with Willie D. From the Ghetto Boys. Come on, we need to bring you into the black. Yeah, group. I'm gonna call Willie D. He, Willie yeah. D. Is my man. You know, and I got Face's number now, Scarface. Oh wow! I oh. got Face, so I'm gonna tell him and connect you guys. We gotta connect, yeah, man. Let's we gotta do this, man. We gonna start. Yeah. We gonna be the home of the other new fucking interview. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll be back in a couple of days, maybe, and and then we'll have Digger on and all that type of shit, and we'll be connected to everybody's YouTube and all that type of shit. Ooh, um, man. I'm feeling good about this shit. Right, but until then, you know, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notifications when we drop a new joint. Yes. Uh, so until then, man, for the United Mean Godcast, I am Lord Jamal. God free. Hey.